Hello everyone. Today we're going to do an activity about remembering and for this activity you will need some juice and a square piece of paper. Now my square piece of paper is about 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres or you can use some tin foil. If you haven't got a square piece of paper you can make one from A4 size by folding over into the corner like this and then fold over the flap and cut along this line and you'll be left with a piece of paper that's a square. First thing we're going to do is to fold the square piece of paper diagonally. So put it on the, on the table in front of you, sort of that way up, and then bring the bottom part up to meet the top so that all the corners of the lines are together. And run your finger along the bottom to make a really nice sharp crease. There. Next, take this bottom corner and fold it over to about halfway along on the other side. Can you see where that is? And then make a fold there with a nice sharp crease with your finger. And take the opposite corner and fold it along there to meet that one. Make a nice sharp fold. You'll be left with two pieces at the top here, two triangles. Fold one down this side and fold the other down the other side. The space in between in the middle is where your cup would be. Now you might need to give it a little bit of a squeeze and fold in the bottom bits a little bit so it can stand up. And there's your cup, beautiful paper. Now, if you haven't got the paper and you want to use the tin foil version, you need a piece of tin foil that's about this long. Now I'm going to fold my tin foil in half. It's strong tin foil, so if your tin foil is not so strong, you might need to make three layers this way. I'm folding it in half just that way. And then I'm going to make it into a bit of a roll. Now you can roll it around a kitchen roll tube or a toilet roll tube or if your hands are quite small you can roll it around your hand. We're going to make it into a curved circle shape. It's going to be a cup shape. When that's done, I'm going to take it about halfway here and I'm just going to squeeze it in the middle with both of my hands. The top looks a little bit like a Christmas cracker. And in that middle bit, then I'm going to twist that round. I'm making this cap in a shape like a goblet or a wine glass. Twist that round and then I'm going to use the bottom bit and just shape it with my fingers to make it into a nice flat standing shape. I'll show you on the board. Yeah. And that will stand up on the table. Now next I need to tidy the top up a little bit. So I'm just going to use my finger and thumb to just turn down the corners and the end all the way around here. Turn it down and inwards so it makes a nice neat top for my cup ready for drinking out of. There, I'm just going to use my fingers to shape that a little bit. all ready. Push that down onto the table. Beautiful. Ready to try it out? Your paper cup or your goblet? Let's see. Hope it works. Now, when Jesus was having supper with his friends, 
he poured the wine and he shared the bread. And as he passed the wine or the bread, he said to his friends, when you have wine together, when you have bread together, remember me. And that's what they did. And you know, we still remember Jesus and how Jesus died when we share bread and wine together in our church service or at home. Cheers. <laughs>